So this is going to be a video about anime. If you don't like anime, or if you don't like my opinions on anime, or if you don't want to hear my opinions on anime, you can fuck off right now. I'm giving you fair enough warning. So, I have a Crunchyroll subscription. Thanks to Humble Bundle, because for their one manga bundle thing they had, uh, where if you paid like a dollar, you got the first volume of Blame and a free Crunchyroll month. Um, and I've been using it uh, fairly uh, fairly often. I'm using it to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, I'm actually into the second half of the Stardust Crusaders story where they're in Egypt. I skipped the first two because, honestly, I don't think it'll be my cup of tea. Whereas Stardust Crusaders is actually more my speed and... I think it's kind of funnier that way, and you don't need to watch the first two uh, to get the you know story of the third installment, or even the fourth installment, which is why I'm binge-watching Stardust Crusader, so I can get to Time is Unbreakable, and I can just then you know, watch the entire thing, because that whole series is done now. Uh, that is Time is Unbreakable, that part of the story. Um, but that's not what this video is about. I'm not going to talk about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, because I fucking love that show. There's a new show that I'm going to give the entire season. I'm not going to stop watching it just because the first episode kind of alarmed me because of the story. And, and, and the story kind of seems shit, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. The second episode came out, I do believe, yesterday, and I have yet to watch the second episode. But I will. I'll watch the entire you know, show, and I'll give my thoughts on it at the end of the show. Or at least, you know, if there's a halfway mark, I'll watch till the halfway mark and then give my thoughts on the halfway mark. And maybe if it's good enough and the story goes back to what I think is going to be, I'll actually um, I'll give it the entire show. Because it might be 12 episodes long, it might be 26, it might be 24, you know, whatever. It might be even longer than that. But the show's called Masai Mune Kun's Revenge. And if you don't want spoilers, uh, I, I would uh, argue you shouldn't be watching this. But um, and it's not really a spoiler because spoiler it's the first episode. The story basically for this show is uh, the main character was a heavyset kid. You know, for the majority of his younger years. And uh, he was talking to this one girl. And, you know, he's kind of friends with her. And she kind of just threw him under the bus because he was a pudgy kid. And it fast forward a couple of years. And he's gotten fit. And he's kind of this health nut fucker. And he's just completely lost the fucking plot, in my opinion. And it's kind of like an MRA storyline where it's like... Uh, I'm gonna get fit and I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. but like the revenge is in the title so he the whole story so far is like he's trying to get her to love him and then break up with her you know so that's why I say it's kind of like um, an, an MRA storyline where it's just like I'm gonna get revenge on these women because they fuck or not even necessarily MRA I guess it'd be like TFLer it's like a TFLer fucking story that's why I was like Ehh. I, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> this is kind of meh. Um, you know, it's... Uh, this is... Mm, get, kind of getting to the... To the weird side of the anime spectrum. And... Um, I just... I, I don't know where this is going. And I don't think I am going to like where it's going. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, but as I said, I'll give it its fair shot. Um, you know, it, I, I kind of hope he's like, oh man, I shouldn't have gotten like really fit and become this big dickhead. You know, and he, he like he's manipulative too in the first episode. It's like, eh. It's like, you were a good guy, but now you've become this evil, backstabby piece of shit. 
what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, he's, he's always analyzing things, and it's like, just be yourself. Like, be who you were when you were a kid. Like, this, you know, uh, upbeat kind of kid. Don't be this manipulative fucking cock stain. You know, it's like, oh, she didn't like me, so it's like, fuck it. I'll, you know, I'll go for the, I'll, I'll look for people who will like my personality. Like, I wish that's the way the story kind of, I, I hope it goes that way. It's like, oh, fuck, I should have been this big, you know, guy who's just trying to hurt this person because she hurt me. It's like, I should have t- just said, fuck it. I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do me and I'm going to be good. And I, it's, it remains to be seen if that's where the story goes. <clears throat> I'm also, uh, so that's, that, that's another thing. I could probably rant for an entire fucking thing. I'm also gonna give uh, uh, if my computer would stop having a fucking aneurysm or specifically it's not necessarily the, the, the computer, it's the fucking browser, but um, I'm gonna give Dragon Ball Super a fucking, a fucking shot. I'm also gonna watch he was Strip and Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I'm going to watch those those couple shows. Also, I had to raid. I got to watch. And I got to finish up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And, you know, I have all these enemies I got to catch up with. But it's like, I, I'm, I'm going to maybe focus more on Masamune Kun's Revenge so I can give, like, a full kind of, like, coherent opinion on the thing. But, yeah. So. Ta-ta. Have a good day, and uh, so far, fuck that show. That's Kun's Revenge. Because it's just dumb.